Hi, my name is Brad Buckland, and I'd like to tell you about writing a resume. First, I'll go over what to include on a resume. First, you want to include, obviously, your name and your contact information, and preferably at the top of the resume, because that's where they're going to look for it. Secondly, you want to include an objective. Now, there's some controversy to this, but I say that an objective actually directs your resume so that they know what you want. And be specific. Be as specific as you can, and don't say something like seeking an employment with an opportunity to just say what you want. I want an administrative position or administrative position. That's all you need to say. The other thing is to include qualifications, things that impress people about you. Now, you don't need to say things like um, organized unless you can back it up with organized with the ability to do something in the organizational area. Now, those things should go at the top just so they have an idea of what your skills, abilities, and talents are. And then you want to include your, obviously, your job history. And it should be in reverse chronological order, which means the most recent first working backwards. Then, after that, you should include your education. Education should also be in reverse chronological order, so that the most recent is first. Now, also, you want to remember to be as concise as possible, but get across what is going to be impressive to them, which includes achievements, things that you did on the job that are impressive, like you were employee of the month, or you saved them a quarter million dollars, or you were top salesperson, something that was an achievement. Those really drive a resume. So those are some of the basic things that you should include on a resume. If you'd like to learn more about getting a job, click on any of the links above. Thank you.